Welcome to My Own Devices. This is where I share my discoveries in the world of vintage and modern home audio. Please hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe if you find my unique approach compelling. You know, being an audio enthusiast is not the greatest thing for your personal fitness. It usually involves lots of sitting around and just getting up occasionally to adjust the volume or change a record or CD. So I've been thinking, what could a hi-fi enthusiast do at home to try to stay fit? So this is what I came up with. But before I begin, I'd like to remind everyone that you should always consult your physician before starting any new exercise program. And also be aware that there is a risk of injury when using a gym and its components. If you're like me, you probably have an old heavy monster AV receiver sitting around unused. It was pretty pricey when new, but now it's totally obsolete and was replaced long ago. We're going to start out by using this Yamaha RXV2700 AV receiver. It's a fully featured 140 watt 7.1 channel receiver that is pretty hefty at 44 pounds. It's also pretty obsolete now, but in its day, it was a formidable unit. I call this the AV receiver bench press. Hopefully you won't feel obsolete after this workout. In order to demonstrate all the different exercises you can do with your home audio gear, my son Luke is here, has volunteered to help. To start, lay down flat on the exercise bench while keeping the soles of your feet flat on the floor. Grip the receiver firmly by its sides and raise and lower it straight up and down above your chest. Don't arch your back or lock elbows. Keep your abs tight and maintain a steady fluid motion. I suggest that you breathe in when lowering the receiver and out as you raise it up. Three sets of 15 reps with this Yamaha on alternate days will get your pectoral muscles looking pretty buff in just a few weeks. And if you eventually need more weight to lift, maybe an old Macintosh receiver will fit the bill. To work out your biceps, why don't you grab a pair of ported bookshelf speakers to act as big boxy dumbbells. Obviously, you'll need a pair of ported bass reflex speakers with nice sized ports that you can fit your fingers inside. Sealed acoustic suspension boxes are not suitable. I've chosen these 16 pound DCM CX-17s due to their port location and size. To perform this compact speaker bicep curl exercise, grip the speakers palms facing up and try to keep your elbows at your sides while lifting the speakers up towards your chest. Keep your knees slightly bent, your abs tight and back straight. Maintain focus on just using your bicep muscles to lift the speakers. After completing 15 reps three times, move on to the compact speaker lateral raise. This exercise works the outer shoulder muscles, primarily the deltoids. Simply hold the speakers at your side and then lift them straight out while keeping the elbows unbent. Remember, do not lift the speakers higher than your shoulders. And as always, maintain your tight abs and a stable stance. Once again, complete three sets of 15. Okay, we've worked the upper body, but what about the legs? The subwoofer step up is a fantastic way to give your thighs, hamstrings, and buttocks some attention. This 16 inch high Klipsch RW8 is a versatile powered subwoofer with an eight inch driver. The 125 watts provide plenty of power for two channel or home theater applications. Hopefully it can help you get some needed power back into your backside. Placing one foot up on the subwoofer, drive your weight forward and use that leg to power your body up while lifting the other knee up and then back down to the floor. After 15 reps, switch legs and do another set. This exercise can get tricky because maintaining balance can be challenging. I promise though, you will feel the burn in your quads and glutes after three sets of these. Lastly, battle ropes are very popular in gyms to work the shoulders and arms. 
A heavy pair of speaker cables like these made by Monster can make a nice substitute for the real ropes in a pinch. Stand with your knees bent and feet about shoulder width apart. Allow the cables to hang loose to the floor. This lets you use the momentum of the cables to provide the workout. Making waves in the cables by moving them up and down is called either the double or single whip. This is an outstanding workout for the shoulders and can provide excellent cardiovascular exercise. There's a variety of different rope workouts on YouTube to check out as well. After a few weeks of this, no one will dare make a negative remark about your heavy cables again. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it has inspired you to get off your butt and start moving. Just because you enjoy sitting and listening to music on your hi-fi setup for extended periods of time, it doesn't mean that you can't keep fit by using a bit of imagination. Thank you.